Hello guys welcome to Khalil Gaming Studio. Dying Light 2 Stay Human, the open world zombie survival game, joins forces with For Honor, the medieval combat game, for a crossover event this week that brings new weapons, characters, and challenges to the game. The For Honor event comes with exciting rewards for defeating the warriors. Burn 5 Rage Boosters for fulfilling the participation goal. Warm-up goal, on the other hand, grants the player the Berserker's hand axe weapon and blueprint. Achieving the personal goal yields Berserker Outfit and Viking Faction Paired Lighter. And if players come together to reach the global goal, everyone will get Warlord's Shield Weapon Charm. Apart from the event, Dying Light 2 Stay Human players can also expect 3 for Honor Bundles. All elements of the Berserker Bundle can be collected by fulfilling the event's goals, but it can also be bought in the in-game shop, along with the other two. Warden Bundle consists of Warden Longsword Weapon and Blueprint, Warden Outfit, Knight Faction Paraglider, and Footman's Flail Weapon Charm. Kensai Bundle is made up of the signature Kensai's Nodashi Weapon and Blueprint, Kensai Outfit, Samurai Faction Paraglider, and Hitokiri's Mask Charm. Each of the bundles will be available in the store for 500 DL points. Players will be able to come across the Kensai, Wardens, and Berserkers as part of the two-week For Honor event, starting on Tuesday, November 21st, at 7 a.m. Pacific Time, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, and ending on Tuesday, December 5th, also at 7 a.m. Pacific Time, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. The Medieval Foes are